Well, for years, he was the director of the Lincoln Park Zoo, and he also had regular appearances right here on WGN. Dr. Lester Fisher recently celebrated a milestone birthday and sat down to reflect with WGN's Dean Richards. There are many things we love that are uniquely Chicago's very own. One of those things is the Lincoln Park Zoo. For 153 years, one of the last free zoos in America and now considered one of the most respected zoological centers. Much of that is because of Dr. Lester Fisher, the zoo's first veterinarian, and from 1962 to 92, its director. He also became a household name in Chicago for appearing on various WGN programs. You can see where this type of cage is a matter of a lot of work. Dr. Fisher, who just turned 100 years old, now lives in Hayward, Wisconsin, but made a visit to his old stomping grounds where he first came as a young boy. To me, the zoo has just been sort of part of my life. Between those early, early visits and the fact that uh, medically I spent years here part-time looking after the health of the animals and then to succeed Marlon Perkins and be the director for 30 years, uh, it definitely is part of me. And uh, coming here today to visit with you is uh, very positive but nostalgic feeling. Dr. Fisher takes a lot of pride in having transformed the zoo from a bunch of cement slabs with bars that just displayed the animals to the natural habitats in which the animals now live. All of that happening during his 30 years at the helm. During that time, millions have passed through the gates, including a royal visit from Britain's Prince Philip and also fellow animal lover Betty White. But boys and girls growing up in Chicago may remember the good doctor as a regular guest on WGN TV. I got your green alligators and long neck geese, some humpty back camels and some chimpanzees, some cats and rats and elephants. But Lord, I'm so forlorn, I just can't see no unicorn. In addition to running the zoo, Dr. Fisher became well known in Chicago through his many appearances on WGN, especially on Ray Rayner and his friends with his Ark in the Park segment throughout the 1970s. Good morning, Dr. Lester Fisher. Ray, good morning. And I did notice that that first cow, which is a brown Swiss, did turn her head. And the Bozo Show in the 1980s. It's called a sugar glider, and it's one of the few mammals that can fly. When I became director and people started asking me, well, are you going to be on TV? And I said, no, thank you. I don't think I really should get into that. And happily, WGN was very persistent. So this here is a really lovely animal. 60 pounds at birth. Yes. Yeah. Oh. It's a lot of animal, Ray. Oh. I started doing a little local TV stuff, I think, on Saturday morning. And finally, Ray Rayner got in touch with me and said, would you be willing to spend some time on my show? And I said, of course, Ray. Twice a week for about eight minutes or nine minutes, I would bring animals to your studio. The animal like this gets a regular milk formula. To me, that was one of the great relationships to be with Ray Rayner. Hello. And of course, it's a talker. It's a parrot, a member of the Citizen family. And again, he genuinely was scared of animals when we first started. Oh, what is this? I'm going. <laughs> But I think that that's what helped put Lincoln Park Zoo on the map here in Chicago. It's cur <laughs> On turning 100 years old, Dr. Fisher summed it all up pretty simply. I'm just a lucky guy. A lot of good genes and a lot of good care. Beyond that, all I can say is I hope that I'm around for a little longer. The full interview with Dr. Lester Fisher plus archival photos and videos are all posted at WGNTV.com. Dean Richards, WGN News. Boy, did that bring back a lot of memories. They all came rushing back, and you had the song, yeah. word for word. I remember yeah, it very well. I watched a lot of WGN yeah, back then. Yeah, we both did.